Luigi. Like, no one knew how to fight Lucas. Um, I can't see your character left screen. And then Mario. No one, knows that no one knew how to fight Mario for yeah. boss. No one knew how to fight Mario. Yeah, like, every time I'd see boss get away with shit, I played Mario, so I'm like, I know that's not true. Yeah, that's and then not why, true. I'm like, why are they getting hit with that? And I think, oh, that's right. Everyone in my crew plays Mario. So, <laughs> e e nobody gets hit with my jank shit. Yep. <laughs> Literally, my first crew was five Mario mains. Did you pick that on purpose? I didn't play Mario. I played Diddy, and all of them just kind of, like, played Mario. They picked it up by osmosis, because, like, the two founders played Mario. And then we all just like picked it up because we was getting beaten into our skulls. So it was like a like a long game, a long con. <laughs> it was, yeah, exactly. It's like, listen, I'm gonna beat you with this fundamental terrible character until you learn. God. <laughs> all right, but now these two characters are mostly fundamentals. Oh God, every time I see that face, <laughs> the face, I can't get over it. It's got a goddamn five head and then eyes on the side of its head. Uh, Hammerhead shark looking motherfucker. <laughs> His eyes blink. Yeah, exactly. They do blink. This is literally his eyes Ew. blink. This character literally is something out of Jaws. Is yeah, it's so the, horrible that they can't show the face. Got them dead eyes, yeah. like a doll eyes. I've seen everything. <laughs> I've seen the void. The only time that the eyes light up in life is when they hit you with the side B and the up B. Oh. <laughs> oh god, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Oh, he god, knows. Me. <laughs> Someone get Captain Quint in a big boat to kill this goddamn me. Alright, so here we go. Getting into game number one. Please and end this character paint. <laughs> Bad to me. It's just so that we don't have to look at him and talk about him. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, so far, it's basically been the story that Pink Fresh is fairly good at comboing you. And that's been true for goddamn ever. But that Nair is going to be the bane, I think, of Pink Fresh. Oh, and Parappa tried to hit with something sneaky, trying to go for maybe a spike if Pink Fresh had delayed his life grab at all. That drag down back air, that's so, like, I don't understand it. And every time it hits at me, I feel like it's like an insult. Yeah. It's like, you challenged me and won, but I don't respect that. <laughs> but now, excellent DI coming to inside Parappa. Slipping right back down on that ledge. Oh, my God. He was like Mach 4. Yeah, immediately. Just teleporting down. So that that down air might actually be the new cloud down air. Like, real talk. Me down air is insanely good. It has all the disjoints of, um, like, the links, but it has no landing lag. It actually is safe if you just do it. Huh. And that should be dead. Up throw to finish that up at 172. Yeah, but Parappa did a good job bringing the sock a lot closer because the opening, he was struggling to even get any footing on stage. Very true. And really, I think we've seen two characters that are polar opposites when it comes to killing. Like, me Swordfighter has kill confirms to kill around this percent. Lucas doesn't have crap, but throws. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yep, tornado into up air. Tornado honestly being one of the best confirm moves that I've seen in a while in this game. May actually be the best projectile in the game. Like, yeah, it's like a that, bit slow, that and Razor Leaf. Yeah, oh my god, Razor Leaf is annoying to play against. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like those two projectiles are up there for best in the game, I think. Certainly. So now we're seeing a lot of pokes where it's actually the sword is trading with a lot of Lucas's disjoints, and that is not what Parappa wants to do. Parappa wants to be snuffing out every time Pink Fresh tries to hit buttons. Mm -hmm. And he just hasn't been able to do it so far. Oh, and and again, look at that. A yeah. tail of two stocks. You have five years to confirm after that tornado. Yeah. And especially since it's that big, covers that much space, you can just throw it out there, readjust your bearings, and keep on keeping on. What can act, well, like, what can Lucas do about that? Just drop, recover low. And the problem if get about recovering low is that you get a character with a big-ass sword who yeah. might beat out your disjointed up beat. True, true. So, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely thinking that Pink Fresh can be doing this back, though. He's only about 30% away from just a, a solid confirm, out of, or not really a confirm, just a kill out of a throw. All right, down throw. Some good damage in there. I feel like Pink, if he wanted to make a read to, like, bring himself back, now would be the time to do it. Certainly. Because Parappa isn't giving him much to work with. And so far, we haven't really seen a lot of Lucas's really good edge guarding tools. There's been no PK freezes or PK thunders at edge. I think it's partially because like this, me sword fighter is actually really quick in the air. Yeah. Also, on top of that, if you were to go out there, um, that uh, up B could actually kill you. But back throw, safe and simple. But it might be too little, too late. While uh, Pink was fishing to find a kill, or wait, playing patiently to find a kill, he got 105 percent on him. Yeah, that is a ton of extra credit. And now it's just a matter of Parappa oh. just tossing this projectile and saying, "Hey." Are you ready? Yeah. And Lucas can't absorb that, so nope. you just have to... That's physical, boys. That's dumb. Yeah. Actually, yeah, why is that physical? Yeah, the wind is physical. No. Oh. Chakram and it are both physical. Well, or... Chakram makes sense. Yeah, Chakram makes sense, but that one doesn't. 
Uh, oh, I think that's you a... us? No, you're not helpless okay. anymore in this game. One of those changes. Thank you, Sakurai. Yeah, thank you. He didn't deserve to go helpless after that. Now, a lot of the B moves that uh, essentially helpless are gone now. I'm yeah. happy about that. Like DK punch, crap like that. Oh, the snipe, Chakram. Nope, kept a double jump, but it doesn't matter. Okay, can't quite follow that up. Great air dodge by Pink, but 190. There it is. He might not. Oh, wait, never mind. That move is powerful. Forward tilt, pretty strong. But 192. Okay. That goofy ass face, oh my lord. I can't take it. I can't oh take it. And band started to come through. Parappa. Um, I think he said he had to adjust the setting or something. I don't know. So what do you think of the counter pick is? Um, to be completely honest, I don't know enough about how many sword fighters yet or works yet to really suggest a counter pick. Like, I played against him a couple times, like maybe for like 45 minutes or so. So, like, I have a general idea, but in terms of anything else, it's like, what else What else do you do? So, I am going to say this. I definitely think that um, one of the strengths about Pink Fresh as a player is that his pocket and center are so powerful that it's going to force Parappa to ban WarioWare every single time. So, Parap uh, Pink Fresh is probably going to have his his choice of like how good Lucas counterpick because you have to spend one band locking up the counterpick here. Yeah. Is WarioWare still on the stage list? WarioWare is still a counterpick. Why? Um, because they banned Castle Siege instead. Why? <laughs> Castle Siege was much better than WarioWare. WarioWare is such an awful stage. Hard agree. Yeah, it is. Every single player that I played today banned WarioWare and Skyloft and nothing else. I mean, Skyloft... Okay, I can understand Skyloft. I genuinely feel like people are bad at recovering on Skyloft, but I don't think the stage would be evil. No, evil. I, I don't think Skyloft's bad at all. I never banned it. I love that stage. Yeah, I almost never SE on it, but it's like people are very bad at recovering on it. So yeah, I can understand why you want to avoid the jank, but uh, but WarioWare though? That's, that's Sage stuff. Free Castle Siege. Free Siege. Anyway, back to this game. Uh, so far, Parappa's doing a much better job this part of the opening stop. Yeah, we saw stock one. It took him a while to adjust to Pink French's, like game. And now, uh, not really. 100% already put on Pink. And now it's just, yeah, let's go ahead and wall him out with the sword. And toss out a tornado every day. Every now and then, excuse me. Ooh, great. Can't sweet spot. Yeah, he wasn't able to sweet spot at that angle at all. So just go for that down smash. It lasts so long. And now Pink Fresh starting to turn up with the parry. And he almost gets a tech chase, but he wasn't used to the angle that he would have had to go at. I feel like a lot of like things that the Smash 4 community are doing right now in Ultimate, like Smash 4 vets, is that they're playing around characters like their shield is just as good as Smash 4. And like, it is not. Yeah, Pink, <laughs> Pink seemed to like be dancing around Pink uh, Parappa while Parappa was in shield. Just hit the shield. There's actually nothing you can do if you just tap it. Yeah. I mean, granted, it is hard to space aerials to do like, the controller thing. Sure. I was actually glad on that earlier. I'm like, why am I moving so far forward randomly? Like, right. Buffer yeah, system. Isn't yeah. it good? I don't like that part of it. I like nope. most parts of it. Is that I a like thing? this. Holy I love shit. that. Holy, you cannot tech that. Someone clip that shit. That is that literally down air into down air into down air into forward smash. Yeah. Uh, what? If you read their DI, that is legit. Yeah, that oh was some boy. PM stuff. I, I'm allowed to talk about that here. I'm allowed to say PM here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Gims isn't watching the stream. <laughs> oh, nice. Good snipe, no now. jump. Oh, it's that tether really long in this one. Oh, that grunt, I've never heard that one before. Puts back to it. I don't. <laughs> sounds like it does sound <laughs> like a rubber chicken. You're right, my lord. Black Frost, let's give him the truth here. He sounds like a rubber chicken or something with no soul. Uh, they're not mutually exclusive. <laughs> Oh my god, those up airs adding so much damage. But landing hitbox of down air. And you you're can right. See immediately, you can just act right out of it. It's so disjointed and there's so much like hit stun on it that the FAF just. It's free. Yeah, black teeth. So basically, Pink Fresh has brought this back. He's got the percent advantage, but we've seen time and time again that Parappa, his kill confirms are so much easier than Pink's, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, down tilt to forward tilt. That could give him a lot of stage control. High recovery, though. Look at how far he Smart. flew. Yeah, excellent reaction time on that. Now we're, no starting to, we're starting to see more of those tornadoes come out, so that means that Parappa might have something up his sleeve in terms of confirms. Pink has really slowed this game down. Like, Parappa has been throwing out a lot of buttons, and you can see Pink is kind of, he's just picking his spots really, really well here. Back air off shield. Now Pink's on the ledge. Great forward air, sneaking that one right up in there. 
Too early on the option. Yeah. Too early on the down smash though, so now Prop is back and you can't afford to get hit by the tornado at this percent. Look at that Watch shield. Out. Yeah. The shield is so low. Just gone. Oh my god. That double jump, that was a panic right there. The forward tilt, is that gonna do it? 150%, wow. still enough. On the edge of uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 though, a pink fresh. Looking like he's big chilling, even though that uh, game had to have taken a toll on his mentality, because that was a close one. Every single match against this goddamn goofy character takes a toll on me. Yeah, it's like, like do I really have to? Do I really have to respect this this character now? That's really the insulting part, is I just don't want to respect anything this character does, not because the hitboxes are bad, but because of what the character looks like. Yeah, this character <laughs> didn't exist for four years, functionally. Yep. We This character just was birthed into this world a month ago. Birthed by Sin. Yeah. Given life Spawn. by Sakurai. Yeah, it just like made a splatting noise. His first cry was, wah, <laughs> meh. <laughs> and then now we have to put up with it. This is our reality. I just don't like that it's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, if it was a bad character, you could be just like, lol, sword fighter. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's cute, buddy. Yeah, but now exactly. sword fighter, yeah, it's legit. Now sword fighter is probably scarier than Ryu for me. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, Ryu actually, he's, he's a character that got toned down a bit. He's got a, several really good upgrades, like the ability to cancel aerials for special moves. But then special moves don't have uh, intangibility anymore. Shoryu is not intangible. Anymore. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, even the like input one? Yeah. True what? Shoryu is not intangible at all. Anyway. Oh dang! So yeah. Oh dang! I didn't know that. Yeah. So you can cancel it on shield with uh, like you can go back air into True Shoryu and like almost break somebody's shield, which is incredibly powerful. But if they challenge you, then you're gonna get a trade. That hurts my brain. Like for the last like 30 years. DP meant invincibility. Yep. But now it's not? Yeah, I know. Um, I blame Street Fighter for this, actually, because, yeah, it's like, again, Black Frost giving us the info on the side is that the later ones don't have info. He does, but, like... Yeah, it was like... Okay, okay. Yeah, let's give it to Black Frost. He's the I was just saying, expert. specifically, the change between Ryu's DP is uh, specific to Season 2 of Street Fighter Five, when DPs were, like, notoriously invincible, even though they were a dummy option. Guess in this game too, but they weren't invincible. Even in Street Fighter V, like that's controversial. People, like, they shouldn't have done that. So they shouldn't have done it in Street Fighter, and they're like, you know what? That's a good idea for Smash. Well, I think it's a better idea in Smash than it was in Street Fighter. But True. dang, that back throw, chuck it him out. Yeah, Luke is still strong with that back throw for sure. Yeah. So yeah, we just spent the entire first stock talking about. Uh, the change to Ryu, and we kind of missed a lot of even play. Well, it's okay, because like, if proper lays one more hit, it's going to be even. And then we can commentate a fresh set. Don't, you have to do it. There it is. Oh, dang, it's not even. And dang, dang, 186? I remember when Ryu used to kill at like 12. Yeah, scary yeah. times. Those were dark times. No punish out of shield. He had it, he had the jump, but he just didn't trust it. Okay, there we go, then hitting him with the sword leg. Goddamn back here, so strong. 189. I mean, anything this character has is gonna kill. That I, it's gotta be he a wanted one He oh, wanted yeah. Hadouken there, I guarantee you. Because why not chuck him out? Even if he absorbs him, he's at zero. So it's yep. whatever. Get that red fireball going. Definitely another buff to the character. That red fireball used to be just uh, actually a liability in Smash Four. Wasn't just horrible. You could just take the first hit, perfect shield, and then run at him. Yeah, especially if you play the fast forward and just DI down. Great pivot grab though. Back throw. Don't get by PK Freeze yet, because that will kill you. Yeah, PK Freeze is actually incredibly good for a ledge guarding option in this game. It's just, it's so quick and there's so little lag on it that you just toss it out. And I love like the cartoon knockback of it, where it's like, oh no, looks like I'm frozen again. It's, it's literally just, just Team Rocket. Yeah, looks like I'm blasting off again. Oh, <laughs> meow, that's right. <laughs> Great up air. Oh, oh that, the, wait, that killed? Damn. That was a snipe and a half. This man was literally out here like, yo, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, and I know what Pink Fresh is thinking. He's like, dang, I messed up that angle. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, he wanted he wanted that ledge, guaranteed. Oh, yeah, 100%. Ryu kind of got them long, gangly limbs, but he's going to reach out and touch it. You ain't hitting that ledge safely immediately. Yep. Now Parappa's starting to stack it up with those up airs. So 60%, 86%, and look at that. That character's almost dead. It's almost as if the first two stocks was a prelude to this, where Ryu's got the high percent, got the advantage, doesn't need to run in anymore, and 
What do you do as a little boy? Ooh. All right, now Pink Fresh has a second chance at that short you can rip, but you know what Parappa is looking for. He might be swinging a bit too hard for it though. Pink Fresh won't give it to him for free. Parappa has to think about it, and now the Spore is starting to come through, and oh no! And Parappa with the pop off with his boy Vash behind him, and Pink will fall. I mean, this this character in Ryu is such an emotional character to play. You have to be so steely. You, you, if you crack with this character, his, his disadvantage state is so 